welcome to the last case in deadly December and have a happy new year. Um, this is the case of Michelle Angela Garvey. Um, she was born on June the 3rd, 1967 and her life was brutally taken on July the 1st, 1982. Um, she was murdered in Texas within a month of running away from her home in New London, Connecticut. This one is just baffling to me. She got so far. Um, her body was quickly found but remained unidentified until a 2014 DNA test after an amateur internet researcher suggested a match between the Texas unidentified decedent and the Connecticut missing person. Um, it was actually a lady with autism who looks for patterns. Um, it was very interesting how she went through the missing and found this little girl from Connecticut and matched her up to this girl found in Texas. So, um, but she went by patterns and she's brilliant. Um, again, she went missing from New London, Connecticut after running away. At the age of 14, she was believed to have intended to return to her birth state, New Jersey, or to North Carolina. She had a previous history of running away, according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Initially, it was unknown what had happened to Garvey, as she may have left home to start a new life and was thought to have possibly been still alive. Artist Carl Kopelman's impression of what the then unidentified Garvey looked like in life which was probably the most accurate, in my opinion. Um, her, her body, again, was found July 1st in Baytown, Texas. So in a month, a 14-year-old child made it... Are you kidding me? So in a month, a 14-year-old child made it from New London, Connecticut to Baytown, Texas. In 2011, they exhumed her and got her DNA. Um, Nick Mick and some others, um, the online sleuth with autism, Polly Penwell, um, went to work and they were able to identify her in January of 2014. We still do not know who killed her. She has been reburied by her family on March 1st, 2014 in Montville, Connecticut. I don't know what to say, guys. I know I have 30% power left. Um, I want to say thank you. If you have any information, please call either the Connecticut State Police because they are working with the police in Texas on this case or call the Baytown police or the Texas Rangers um, and let them know what you know. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Please click like and subscribe. Please click that bell for notifications. Remember you can customize them. Um, and please comment. If you leave me a tip on any video, I promise you I will call it it. if you are too shy to do so. God bless you. Bye-bye.